Happy, happy Wednesday, Mission Driven Entrepreneurs. How are you doing today? Welcome to our weekly live show. I'm back with you again, and I want to chat with you today over a very important topic, I feel. A lot of my content is always inspired by all the work that I do with my clients, and also all the amazing uh, routine that I go through in scaling my own business and really learning and growing daily. So today's topic is near and dear to my heart. As I know, there's a lot of online entrepreneurs, especially mission-driven entrepreneurs that are not making the consistent income that they need in their business online. This is such a big problem. And of course, in order for you to make an impact and serve with your gifts and your purpose, we need to make sure that you are running a profitable business and also you are also um, have uh, concurrent recurrent um, income in your business and it all starts with your business model right in the uh, coaching online space we're actually very lucky because um, gross profit is actually at 50 percent um, profit for when we compare our sales and our expenses um, so obviously we have a little more room for improvement. So really um, starting with our business model and building a solid business model in our business is where all the magic begins because obviously what you are offering to your clients is going to be um, so important into the way that you are strategizing and you are actually creating consistent income with your offers. So the first strategy is to go from low ticket, high volume to high ticket, low volume business model. And this is for a lot of you mission driven entrepreneurs that I speak to on a constant basis. I've been very happy and blessed to connect with so many of you inside this community as well. And you probably have a course or you have a book that you are focusing on and that is a low ticket business model. Because think about that. And one of the major frustrations that I always hear is that obviously you are not making ends meet and you are barely surviving with your business because how many courses do you need to sell? How many books do you need to sell in order to make a decent, let's say an average online income of 10,000 a month or 5,000 a month? And most of us, if you don't have an audience yet, or if you are maybe just utilizing Facebook groups as a way to network and you don't have your own strategies in place and growing and understanding your ideal audience and serving that audience and creating amazing content and really uh, having a marketing system in place, then of course you are going to struggle and that's probably why you are struggling. So just let me know if this is resonating with you uh, I hope the comments will be coming by um, shortly here as well. So let me know if this is resonating with you. If this is you, just raise your hand or just let me know if this is something that you can relate to. So going from that type of model, creating a structured, um, a structured high accountability, high touch program um, is going to be that high ticket, um, low volume business model that is going to create consistent income for you because of course, everything that we are coming across, that we are teaching, every field of expertise that you have, that you are building a business online, obviously it's a process, a process of improvement and it's going to be a process to take your clients through and that's not an overnight process. Most of us know that. Right? Whether I'm helping someone to grow their business, which is why my programs are six months or more, or if I am, or if you are looking to help someone with their health and to help them gain more energy, lose weight, eat healthier, and all these different things, or maybe even heal um, or empower themselves or transform, any process of transformation takes at least six months or more. So just off the bat, just by you creating a value packed, high ticket offer or program that is really going to navigate and help your client go through this transformation and really instill all the habits that they need in their lives so they can sustain it, is going to be crucial not only for your clients to be able to get results and you, for you to be able to grow your brand, 
but of course um, on your end as well as a business owner because you will have recurrent revenue you have a client you have closed one client and now you get to serve them at a higher level and you are not always chasing for new clients something that i didn't mention if you just have a course or a book is that all of these offers take energy whether you're selling a 20 dollar book or whether you're selling a six thousand dollar program you will still have to do your marketing and you will have still have to do your networking and connect with people right so you know why not focus on making your front facing offer um, in your business a higher ticket model so that like i said you are doing the work you are connecting you are building trust you are closing the client but most importantly, you are building on the revenue, you're building on the foundation of your business so that you have those clients that you have signed and are working with you. And then you're always attracting and setting the right systems in place and um, increasing your audiences and visibilities and all that good stuff that is needed on top of that so that you are bringing in new clients on top of the foundational um, the foundational. Um, clients that you already have in your business so this obviously makes sure that you have consistent income and that you are um, that you don't have that anxiety that most entrepreneurs have that you wake up every morning and you don't know where your next client is coming from and maybe you cannot make your ends meet this month uh, forget about probably paying yourself you're probably just you know um, getting by with as far as um, meeting your um, bills every month for your business so you know this type of model as I said really ensures that you have the certainty security and most importantly you're serving your clients at a higher level and you are creating results because at the end of the day we speak about this here all the time people don't buy anything any program any course any book but they, they buy solutions to problems and they buy transformation right so you being able to create that kind of um, that kind of um, system in your business so that you can take people on a journey for further results and further transformation uh, like I said not only helps you but also your potential clients as well um, charging as far as you know setting up a um, high ticket business model I know that a lot of things that always come up with really not understanding how to articulate the value of the message of your offer is going to be very very crucial right um, so charging based on the results and the transformation that you are actually giving your client is also going to be another very crucial part uh, crucial part in you being successful with this type of model as well right because um, we want to be able to like I said uh, people don't buy you know programs books you know products they buy transformations they buy solutions to problems um, and they buy for those higher level needs that they have. So um, really understanding, you know, to charge based on the result and focus your attention on the results that you're able to create rather than the structure of the way that you have laid out your pro program is really going to help your ideal client very clearly understand how is it that you can help them and why are you a good solution. And most importantly, now we have to position ourselves more than ever in the market you know um, with what is it that we actually offer that is different from someone else's doing a similar things a similar thing this comes up for every business um, because the market is saturated we have to ensure now that we are actually articulating for our ideal client why is it that we are different what is it that we have to bring to the table based on their experiences um, that is going to help them solve those problems based on the conversations that you're actually having with them. So charge based on the result and then positioning is going to be so, so important, right? The way that you are positioning yourself. That's why um, I speak so often over positioning and branding and building a brand of your business, um, not just, you know, you as the service provider, but really going above and beyond and positioning yourself with your credibility, with your content, with your authority, with your visibility, all these different components that need to be in place so that your client sees you as that authority, uh, as that um, guide in the journey that's going to help them 
uh, access that transformation for which they actually come to you in the first place. Um, and then the third, the third thing to consider is your goals. Of course, your personal goals. You know, what are you trying to accomplish in your business? And a lot of times as entrepreneurs, we are not very clear on what are our personal goals or the things that we need to do in our personal life so that we have that number met. And then what additional things do we need to generate in our business so that it really supports our business for its expenses and also for its amazing growth and investing back in the business. So we need to have a very clear idea over what are our personal expenses that we need to live on and also what are our business expenses and also the investment and the growth that we want to put back in the business and what are some of those strategies that we need to put in place so that we are very clear and very focused and very intentional with where we spend our time what are the activities that we uh, do daily who is it that we need to hire how do we how is it that we need to strategize so that we have that bigger picture, that higher level picture of our business in mind when we are making those decisions as the CEO and as the visionary that we all are. Um, and I said that, um, you know, based on the foundation, um, giving yourself that foundational piece of you having clients that you are currently serving and you are um, positioning yourself so that you can give her give them a bigger, better transformation, uh, it's always going to help grow this whole side of your business with referrals and results and testimonials, which is so crucial um, in you um, scaling and growing your business as well. All right, I'll see Julia says, I think this is on spot, it's a scary situation to not know where your next clients are coming from and the anxiety and the stress tend to reflect on your work. Absolutely, and that's also the energy we bring with us when we are in lack and we are in anxiety mode, uh, when we actually speak to potential clients, because we have that in the back of our mind. If you come from this abundant place and you set the right business model structure and systems and strategy in place, then you know that you come into that conversation with the abundance mindset, and most importantly, you really being there for your client, really listening to what their needs are and seeing if you are a good fit for them rather or them for, or them for you. I always say it's like a two-way relationship, right? So, um, you know, having that in the back of your mind, it's really going to take the anxiety out of when you make fear-based decision and decisions and fear-based um, strategic decisions in your business rather than them coming from a place of certainty and um, you know security that you have provided that for yourself and business and also for your clients so that's a great point there Julia as well um, I have a training that I'm actually running exclusively for our members uh, community members here on April 29 at 2 p.m. Eastern and I will take you guys over uh, more in depth over how to actually warm up leads for your business. Uh, one of the most important things in our business is really growing our communities and warming up our audiences and really uh, building the know, like, and trust with our audiences. So really understanding the process behind how to do that, how to create consistent leads, uh, consistent system, I would say, that you are always bringing in leads in your business. And more importantly, you are serving and you are warming up your leads so that they could see you as a potential solution to their problems and really understanding how to go about all of that process so that you're always having that consistent um, income and clients in your business is gonna be what I will cover. So join me on April 29 at 2 p.m. Eastern. I will send here the, or Julia will actually send the registration link to you guys and um, I would love to have you join us. It will be a uh, training on Zoom. Uh, for about an hour, an hour and a half. So it's not a, going to be a long training. And I um, always aim to serve. So I am sure it will be jam packed and value packed uh, for you and your business with things that you can, like I said, take away uh, right away and start applying um, so that you could get those results that you are looking for. Um, all right, thank you so much uh, for those of you that are going to replay this video later and join later. Um, definitely let me know in the comments if you are watching or you, if you are catching a replay. I would love to hear 
Um, and we will see each other um, on um, another show or next week's show. Um, the next thing happening here is our live, uh, live school masterclass show on Friday 11. So uh, stay tuned for that as I bring another beautiful guest on our show and we chat about um, the topics um, that they are experts in and bringing you lots of value and information and knowledge and experience over um, their topic of expertise and also most importantly our journey as mission-driven entrepreneurs thank you so much have a great rest of your wednesday bye everyone